For service in English, press 1. Para servicio en español, thank you for calling KFC. Please hold while we direct you to the next available guest services representative. For quality and training purposes, this call will be recorded. Hi Debbie, um, my phone number is, uh, well, I can provide it later to you. Uh, I got the question, I'm a resident of Phoenix, Arizona. My name is Russell Tash. Hello? Yes sir, I'm just being polite and listening. Yes, uh, and I'm from Ukraine originally. I moved in 1996 to US. Uh, and uh, I need to talk to someone from corporate office because what happened? Uh, I, I don't know if you. I am at the corporate office. Oh, okay. I, I, you can go on the phones. Okay, perfect. Uh, I don't know if you are aware, but uh, at the end of 2013, in the beginning of 2014, there was like a revolution in Ukraine. It called Maidan. Uh, they actually ousted the like uh, president, and he escaped to Russia, where he sit until today. And uh, during those events, there was like hundreds of people got killed by police. You know, during all those clashes. And uh, in the center of Kiev, right across the central square, you know where like major event happened, like major killings and everything, or uh, there's okay, a... Okay, sir, well, does this have anything to do with the complaint at KFC? Yes, yes, ma'am. The, the point is that there's a building called, like, trade union building, you know, for professional unions, and that building back then was set in fire and by uh, cops, and many people died there. They were burned alive. Now, in this building, I don't know, some stupid dumb head in Ukraine, who, whoever is contractor of KFC, open up KFC location. And, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and people who were burned alive. Is, is, is this in the United States, or is this in the Ukraine? It's in Ukraine. It's in Ukraine. Okay, well, I do apologize. I cannot take any concerns about the Ukraine. Okay. I can only deal with the locations here at KFC um, okay. in the United States. All right. Who Who's responsible? Like, who can I talk to? Because it's KFC logo and, you know, KFC trademark. How does it work? Okay. So then, then you would have to Google KFC Ukraine. Okay. And I have to talk to those people? Yes, sir. You would have to talk to somebody at the Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I do apologize, sir, that I'm unable to assist you with your concerns there in the Ukraine. Is there anything else at all that I can assist you well, with? Well, I guess this is it, but I was thinking if K KFC actually, like, responsible for the way the brand is using, right? See, a lot, all of our store, most of our stores are franchise locations. Okay. Okay. So All that's right. Why I'm direct, and sounds like the stores over there are the same. They would be franchise locations owned by a, private individuals. So you have, would have to go to the website, find the corporate number, and then you can either and you could call them up and see how they can help you. All right. Thank you very much. This is it. Well, I do thank you. Should you have any other issues, comments, or concerns, you are welcome to contact us here at KFC Guest Relations. Thank you for your call and happy Thanksgiving. 
you same to you thank you bye bye